Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to More Code Vein. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the character creator. If you haven't already seen the gameplay that I uploaded alongside this video, then I'll drop a link to that in the description box down below. I highly recommend you check it out. It is a good chunk of like 40, 50 minutes of Code Vein gameplay. And honestly, I am so excited to be talking about this game again. It's a game that I had a chance to play quite a while ago and then it went quiet for quite some time and I was really worried that the game was just going to disappear off the face of the earth but I'm happy to say it is back and honestly it's great to be talking about it it's fantastic to play and obviously in this video I want to talk about character creation because this is probably one of the best character creators I've had a chance to mess around with in recent games yes it might not have all the typical sliders when it comes to adjusting things like face shape and like jaw height and things like that but what it does have is a ton of accessories, a ton of layer options, loads of really cool things that you can use to further tweak your base options. As you'll see in a minute, we're gonna go through those, but honestly, this is really cool. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to take a look at a lot of different options. Now, bear in mind, I was obviously there to play through, you know, the demo as well, so I didn't necessarily go through absolutely everything, but there are a few things I do wanna call out. The first thing worth noting is that any of the hairstyles, makeups, scars, any kind of thing that you can apply to your character applies to both genders. So any of the hairstyles you see, any of the uh, scars, the face paints, the accessories, anything you see me apply on the male character will also apply to the female character. Now, some of the differences between the genders obviously lie with the actual models themselves. So the base characters you can pick and choose from, they are obviously different, male and female. And also when it comes to choosing your costumes, they are also different. But beyond that point, everything actually applies across both. So depending on what you like, there aren't gonna be any gender restricted hairstyles or anything like that. You can essentially use whatever you like. So for the most part, we're gonna run through character creation on a male, but I will switch over to female at the end so you can then see some of the additional options as well. Now, for the most part, I will also let you guys watch this in the background, but there are a couple of things I do really wanna talk about, namely the hairstyles. Now, my one gripe, of course, as I'm sure if you guys know me, you will know coming from a guy that is uh, bald with a big beard, there is no bald and there are no beards in this creator. So there is a sad face for me on that front. However, it's an anime game. It's kind of one of those things you sort of get to expect anytime you play these anime inspired games. They very rarely have beards and if they do, they're pretty weak. But where this game lacks in beards, it makes up for in a ton of customization options. One of the coolest things about this is the hairstyles. So basically when you start creating your character, you can select a base just to begin with. You can completely customize it, completely change it, change everything like that. But you can select a base from a ton of different preset characters. It kind of gives you an idea as to some of the stuff you can do. And then once you go from there, you can start going through, you know, your physique, your skin, your hair color, your face, your eyes, eyebrows, makeup, everything you can see listed on the left hand side of the screen. But hair is particularly important because what you do is you select your base hairstyle, as you see. And again, there's tons of different styles to go through. However, that doesn't then have to stop there. You can, of course, tweak the color and whatnot. What you can then do is you can scroll down to the accessory section. And as you can see in the accessories, there are quite a lot of things that you can put in. And in the accessories, there are additional hair layers. So what you can basically do is you can basically create a base hair layer and then use the accessories to add on additional hair components. So if suddenly you like, say, there's a short hairstyle that you really like, but you're like, you know what, that would look really cool if there was a ponytail. You can then go to accessories and put a ponytail on it. And you could be like, oh, you know what, that hairstyle is really cool, but I wish it had like a bang going down the side or like a, I don't know, a pigtail coming off the side. You can throw those on. And as you can see, there's lots of accessory options. So you can basically have multi-layered hairstyles, color them differently. So what I'm really excited to see when this comes out is the crazy talented people that then go out and recreate, say, anime characters or other characters from video games using all of these options because there's a lot of stuff to mess around with. So you'll see more of that a little bit later on in this video. But yeah, the, the accessory side of things is very, very in-depth. Of course, it's not just hairstyles. There's, you know, stuff you can wear on your eyes and your face, on your, you know, earrings, different things like that. There's things you can wear on your clothes. I've got like a little onigiri badge that you'll see a little bit later on. So there's a lot of cool things to mess around with. So when it comes to like accessorizing your character, all that stuff, honestly, I was very, very impressed despite there being no beards, despite there being no ability to play as a bald character. And you know what? You know what gets me, right? Anytime a game says that I can't be bald and then one of the characters you interact with in game is bald, yo, yo, that's, that's, we need to have words. But anyway, that aside, honestly, very, very impressed with this. So for the most part, I'm gonna let you guys watch through some of the options. One thing worth calling out as well is that apart from your gender, once you select your gender, whether it be male or female, 
Beyond that point, you can actually change any of this in game. So when you actually get to the point in game where you return to your hub town, you can actually go over to the mirror and you can redo your customization. So the only thing you can't change from there is your gender. Once you select that, you're locked in. But beyond that point, if you suddenly start off and you're like, oh, you know what? I don't like my hairstyle anymore. Or I wish I didn't choose this makeup. I wish I didn't choose this crazy scar across my eye. I don't like this thing that I have on my arm. All that stuff can be changed in game. So while it is one of those character creators that you could easily sink an hour in at the beginning of the game, just making your character perfect, Know that as you play through the game, if you decide you don't like it, you can re-customize your character. So lots of very cool stuff, but that's enough rambling for the time being. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys have got any more questions about the game. And again, remember, if you haven't seen the gameplay, definitely check it out because there is lots of cool stuff to talk about there. I speak in that video more about some of the new changes, some of the new features, some of the stuff like that. So lots of stuff to be excited about. This is a game that I can't wait for, so as and when it does launch, you can expect more content on the channel, but for the time being, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of this.
We're fine. You see, I, uh... Better than I hoped. Come on. That's incredible. Follow me. It's no good. Sorry, but... <clears throat> Damn it. We're sc I win. That's what I do. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.